Right there, I just wanted to jump on and do this video because I was going to do a post about it, but then kind of realised that I couldn't say, I couldn't get the words right in the post, couldn't say what I wanted to say, not properly. So I thought the best idea to, to do is a video. And in this video, I want to talk about should humans be eating fruits, vegetables, honey, that kind of thing, real foods in their nutrition, or should you be all be strict carnivores? Now, we know that we shouldn't be eating any kind of processed foods. We shouldn't be touching them. We shouldn't be going for the cereals, the wheats, anything with gluten in. We shouldn't be looking for ingredients lists, anything in a fancy packet. Just they, Those things are just not optimal. And regardless of being optimal or not, they're not good for human biology. They just fight against everything um, that the human biology wants to do. What you're better off doing is opting for real foods. Now, if you're looking for optimal health and optimal nutrition, I've often spoken and said that carnivore is the way to go. Strict carnivore, get all of your nutrition, all of your nutrients, vitamins, minerals, everything from animal produce. And that tends to be the case. But does everybody need to do that? The answer is no. Um, carnivore is a really good reset. And if you are do have a specific goal, something like weight loss or potentially uh, performance, um, maximal performance, or even a disease or an illness that you're trying to fight off, then carnivore is perfect for that. Really, really go strict and just focus on 99%, 100% of all of your nutrition coming from animal produce. Now, I've worked with lots of people who have said, but why can't I introduce fruit? Why can't I have honey? Why can't I have vegetables? They're all real foods. They all offer up some kind of nutrition. And that's right, they do. And real foods are still great. I would recommend them to anybody looking to better their nutrition. The only problem with real foods like vegetables, fruits, honey, is that they carry with them chemicals and can still do the body harm if it is looking to recover, if it is looking to recover from an illness, a disease, um, or, or like say if you're after a certain goal, those type of things could stand in the way. But if you're not after a certain goal, if you are quite happy, you feel like your performance isn't lacking, you feel that you don't need to lose any extra body fat of, of your body composition, you're not fighting an illness, you're not fighting a disease, then there's absolutely no reason whatsoever why you can't add in some fruit, honey, vegetables, all different kinds of real food into your nutrition. Um, as long as you realise that it's an addition to your nutrition, it is not to take place of the already good nutrition that you have from the animal produce. Now, humans, by definition, are hypercarnivores. And hypercarnivore means that over 80% of your nutrition comes from animal produce, meat, eggs, that kind of thing. So if over 80% of your nutrition is already coming from meat, eggs, you know, all the really good animal produce, then there's no reason why you can't add in a few bits of fruit, a few bits of vegetables um, and some honey as well. Just be very aware that it is an addition to your already nutrient dense meat and eggs based, animal based nutrition. I hope that clears some things up for a few people because um, I know we've done plenty of resets with people who have asked this question straight away thought real food was okay. Can I have it in? Yes, you can. But get to the bottom of whatever it is, the disease, the illness you're fighting first, or achieve your goal first, then add in extra things. And always be mindful not to add in too much. They are an addition to an animal-based nutrition.